Goodbye Chapter 5 Season 1 and thank you Epic Games. Guys, there has been a lot of hate this season, but there has also been some fantastic, fantastic things to come this season. We're going to talk about it in this quick video. We talk about a little bit of a goodbye after every single season comes to an end. Don't get me wrong. I am excited for next season. Charlie Wen taking over. Storyline picking up. More mini live events. Next season looks like it's going to be infinitely better, but I still actually had a lot of fun with this season. I'm going to go over what I liked about it, guys. I would love to know what you guys think down below afterwards. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. If you were new here, my name is Kyle. I am your guy with too many YouTube channels. Let's talk about Chapter 5, Season 1. So, guys, obviously, we had the awesome, amazing, brand new modes. And could you imagine with all these brand new modes, BR, the updates, Winterfest, although it was all lackluster, Epic Games probably went so through. So, like, had so much work to go through and update all of these modes consistently. And all of the modes, I don't know about you guys, they work flawlessly. I will admit to you, I am not playing LEGO or Rocket Racing anymore, but I love Fortnite Festival. I've been having an absolute blast of Fortnite Festival, and every single update that we've been getting with these brand new jam tracks is bringing more and more better songs, and I kind of like that and don't like that because I've been getting some jam tracks, wasting the V-Bucks on jam tracks, but I can't help it, man. I love the fact that you can play music on the Battle Royale island, and speaking of the island, the map, the graphics was stunning this time around. As the season went on, I didn't really like that fact that all of the POIs were kind of feeling really similar and feeling the same. I understood the criticism going on with it the entire time, but the map was gorgeous to look at. From an outside perspective, I spent so much time just riding that train, just sitting in a chair with the emote and just watching the beauty, the fog, the trees, the detail. It also helps that I got a brand new PC and I can play on epic settings like, oh my god. The entire map of Fortnite in Chapter one or Chapter 5 Season 1 is absolutely beautiful. Attachments also got added. They were really fun at the beginning of the season. The, the kind of like the entire story with this season, to be honest with you, was it was cool and then died out a little bit because attachments got bland, the loot pool got bland, but at the end of the day, this has the potential to bring in some amazing things. If we get the fire attachment next season, oh my god. If we get the fire attachment next season, that is going to be a horrible day to be a teammate of cleanse, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. This was actually ended up being one of my least favorite seasons, but at the end of the day, I still had a lot of fun playing this game. Like, I always talk about, whenever I talk about my least favorite seasons, because I'm trying to go through all the stuff that I liked about Chapter 5 Season 1, but there wasn't, like, a ton that was really brand new being added to the game. I just wanted to make this video, like, I wanted to show a little bit of appreciation to all the hardworking devs at Epic Games, because it looks like they're really setting things up now. And when I say that this kind of falls under my one of my least favorite seasons, I still had a blast playing with it. I always talk about Chapter 3, Season 3 being my least favorite season. Like, that, I still had fun playing every day. I still had fun playing every day in Chapter 5, Season 1. The building mechanic is just something that I will forever love in this game. I will say Snipers felt good. The bullet drop I didn't like, but there, unfortunately there is quite a bit of stuff that I didn't like about the season. But, hey, Fortnite is such a special game that I still had fun playing every little bit of it. So the things I did like, I love Fortnite Festival. I love the new graphics. I love the movement changes, unpopular opinion, but I still like the movement changes. I love that Epic Games is setting up for the next season. I love that the hand appeared. I love that we have a mini live event. I love that we had a community event. The season is ending incredibly strong. Moving on to the next season, I love the teasers. At the time of recording this video, which is a day before you're seeing it, we still don't have any hard leaks, which is very nice to see. Epic Games seems like they've really been on the ball. I've talked about it a lot throughout this season, guys, that I think that Epic Games was in a transition period. Epic Games was getting Charlie Wen going. Epic Games had a lot to deal with with these brand new modes getting added. And it looks like they're really setting stuff up, man. I had a ton of fun this season and I cannot wait to see what comes next season. Let me know what you thought about Chapter 5 Season 1, guys. And thank you so much for watching this video. It's a little bit bittersweet, guys. But check out this video while you are waiting for the brand new season. I will see you either there or the next one, guys. Take care.